Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good Hello. evening. Good evening. Hello. Uh, well, I was checking the text messages and someone was having trouble, right? Says, I think it is Blanca, right? Blanca, because it says Alexander. All right. Oh. All right, Henry, no problem. Hello. I'm going on the road, teacher. Still? All right. All right. Okay, people. So now we are going to start the class. How are you doing, everyone? How are you doing? Thumbs up? Thumbs down? Up, right? <laughs> Well, uh, let's say, teacher, yes, we're kind of up. <laughs> uh -huh. mm -hmm. Very good, excellent. Mm -hmm. I see Abel, thumbs up too. All right, then. Oh, guys, we are starting unit three. Unit three, yay, we did it, we did it. We survived, right? We survived unit one and two. <laughs> and it's one and two. So now we are going to start the unit three. All right. Uh, to start this, we have to do the same thing we do, right? At the beginning, the first activity is that you have to turn on your cameras and say present when I call your names. All right. Are you ready? All right. Andrea Sofia Benitez Gomez. Present teacher. Blanca Alejandra Portillo Bermúdez. Carlos Ernesto Pérez. Carlos Roberto Alemán Prudencio. Present teacher. Okay. Claudia Yamilet Corea. Elenilson Aparicio del Cid. Present teacher. All right, good. Eric Jose Hernández Campos. Hazel Elizabeth Navarro de Cervellón. Henry Alberto Pérez Rosales. I'm here, teacher. All right. He Hernán Antonio Chacón López. Presente, teacher. Okay. Juan Francisco Salmeron Alas. Karen Jamilet Rivas de Ayala. Present, teacher. Magdiel Esaú García Morales. Present, teacher. Rafael Alexander Cerna Díaz. Present, teacher. Rafael Antonio Barrera Díaz. Ricardo Tony Mendoza Castro. Uh, Rosa del Carmen Santa María Tobar. Present. Santos Ezequiel Núñez Mejía. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Present teacher. Okay. José Abel Izaguirre Mendoza. Here present teacher. Pedro Alexander Osorto Sánchez. Okay, guys, we are going to start a class. Remember that Teacher. today, tell me, was it? Who was it? Hey. Yes, Claudia. okay. Oh. Yeah, thank you. All right. Okay. Good evening, teacher, I'm here, Blanca. Oh, okay, okay. Thank God you made it. 
Okay, people. So let's start introducing this class. Uh, this unit is going to be um, kind of loaded, right? We have some uh, important, really important topics, all right, in this unit, and they are uh, the base for other for the other modules. Right? So we want to get them right or correctly. Okay. Remember. Remember that these are introductory, right? Okay. The general topic for unit three is troubleshooting. Troubleshooting, all right? Troubleshooting. This is your video conference number 11. And uh, the general topic for unit three is troubleshooting, okay? So, I know you know this word because usually we are having trouble with our computers or maybe with our devices, electronic devices, and we have to fix problems or issues that happen with those devices. So we have a kind of, a, of idea, Bye. right? Bye. The Bye. topic for tonight for this class is expressions for describing issues. Okay, expressions for describing issues. Remember, we have different nouns to refer a situation that maybe it is problematic or it's erratic or is mistaken, right? So uh, there are different words, but in general, we say issues, right? Issues, situations that are not in the common function of things, all right? The common sense or the function they are um they are created for all right so maybe that's not the purpose right maybe that's not the purpose and they are not accomplishing the purpose all right the objective for this class is that we you will learn to use expressions for describing issues, okay? Describing means saying what is happening, all right? Saying what is happening. And sometimes we have to use different tenses, right, of the verbs. We have to use different tenses because we have to state the uh, action right in the right time that happens, all right? So we want to um, combine the tenses when we express this. And also expressions, expressions that are phrases that may be are cultural or collo colloquial phrases, all right? Colloquial phrases to express different issues, All right? Our agenda for tonight, feedback about the last class, then the objective and the topic has been presented. We have a conversation to role play uh, on page 29, on page 29, okay? Um, after that, we want to learn about the expressions, okay? 
in general, and also those expressions to describe issues. Expressions in general and expressions to describe issues. We want, we want to get this in context because there is no other way to achieve this goal, all right? Now, we have, we have a short written exercise on page 30 that you are going to solve. And in the breakout rooms, we want to create a conversation describing issues. That's from your own information, using your own information. The session one-on-one -on -one for tonight is available, guys. Okay, so please think who wants to stay with the teacher. Okay, so let's start. We were studying on unit two, directions and instructions. Remember, directions and instructions. Okay, so let's go and see some things that are very important. Okay, the first thing is that in a company, in a company, there are processes, there are procedures, there are a, um, a, this kind of um, rules to do things, all right? There are rules to do things. We use imperatives to say that. And an example of that is, in case of a fire, right? In case of a fire. All right, those are to act in the middle of that action or of that event. But there are, there are situations to prevent those events, right? To prevent those events. And also they are instructions, right? They are instructions. For example, wear your helmet, right? wear uh, appropriate clothes, use um, the right tool for each action, right? And also, uh, for example, uh, use your protection glasses, right? So you say wear your protections or protective glasses. And these are to prevent accidents, to prevent incidents, all right? So um, can someone tell me like a summary, okay? A ver, hagamos un pequeño resumen. Let's do this short summary of unit two. A ver. Go to your notes, everyone. Go to your notes. Go to your notes and let's make a short summary. About the unit one? About unit two. Okay. Okay. Rosa, do you want to start with your summary? Would you please start? What did you? <laughs> Hello. Uh -huh. Okay, we are trying to do a summary of unit two, okay? You may start. Direction, well, unit two, direction, instructions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. <laughs> How do we say the instructions? Instructions. Instructions. Mm -hmm. mm. Instructions. How do we express instructions? Mm, well, 
help, help someone, please. <laughs> Somebody there, please help. Help Rosa too. Call the fire department. Echo. That's an example. Very good. Uh huh. Very good. Mm -hmm. Help everyone. Mm, don't get close to the fire. Follow instruction from the requesting. Mm, from they? Can you repeat, Rafael? Mm. Follow instruction from the rescue team. Requesting. No, rescue. Rescate. Rescue team. Equipo de rescate. Rescue team. Mm -hmm. Okay. Follow the instructions. Very good. Mm -hmm. So we use imperatives. Remember, we say just the action. Just the action. We don't have time to say anything else in a case of emergency, right? We just say the action. Stand up. Get out, run. Okay, so we use these stay, verbs. Mm -hmm. Stay calm. Stay calm, yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. So those those are instructions. instructions. Teacher. Tell me, my dear. Use the helmet. Yes, wear, wear your helmet. Wear the helmet. Mm -hmm. Everything that you put on, you say wear, right? Mm -hmm. You okay. say wear. Mm -hmm. And we say yes, prohibition too. Prohibitions, very For good. Example, not allowed. It's not allowed to. No. To. Mm -hmm. Go to the meeting point. That's a very good instruction. All right, an imperative. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, can you please uh, name three things that you are not allowed in your English class? Teacher, not allowed. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, wait, Miguel, he's going to start, all right? And then you participate. Yes, yes. Thank you. All right, Ellen Nielsen, you may start. Yeah, the first one is we are not allowed uh, the turn off camera. Oh, yes, you're right, because it's a requirement. So you are not allowed to turn off your camera. Very good. Mm -hmm. What else? Three things, it's only me. three things. Uh, wait, Rafael. First goes Magdiel. All right. It's not allowed to turn off your camera. Excellent. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay, Rafael. Uh, we are not allowed to uh, skip classes. Very good. Very good. Your teacher is not allowed to grant permissions. All right. Your teacher is not allowed to grant permissions to skip classes, right? To skip classes. Thank you very much, Rafael. So you are not allowed also, right? You're not allowed to skip classes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you are allowed, you're allowed to um, work in advance on the platform, all right? You're allowed to work in advance on the platform. Very good. Okay. ¿Alguien se le queda alguna que ya la tenga en mente? Are we okay so far? It's not allowed sleep while uh, class. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Uh -huh. So sleeping in class is not allowed, guys. No, no. <laughs> yes, it's not allowed. Uh-huh. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, then class, we are going to move forward and let's start about uh, talking about troubleshooting. Do you know what troubleshooting is? Do you know what troubleshooting is? 
solución de problemas. Yes. Mm -hmm. Fixing problems. Mm -hmm. Fixing problems. Very good. Okay, so let's let's go and see some um, some vocabulary. All right, some vocabulary. Okay. <clears throat> Situation is that in our companies, maybe we don't have machinery, right? To um, uh, because of the role or what the company does, right? But we can talk about machinery problems or issues uh, in general, right? In general, to get some vocabulary. So let's talk about troubleshooting. All right, troubleshooting is when uh, the user of the equipment, the user of the equipment can fix by himself the issue or the problem with that uh, equipment, all right? What happened if it is not possible to solve that problem by ourselves? Then we have to report the issue to the technical support, okay? To the technical support. And some companies, we have technical support and, and they are maybe divided, right? Between the technology thing be, uh, and the industrial thing, right? The industrial thing. So technical support, as the department in charge of solving the problems or issues with the machinery or with the equipment, all right, that we use in our companies. So we have troubleshooting and we have technical support. Troubleshooting for mm, easy issues, right? Easy to fix. Technical support, complex issues, complex issues, okay? Now, let's look at this, like, um, this other uh, term, term, machinery breakdown, machinery breakdown. What do you think is machinery breakdown? ¿Alguien tiene alguna idea? Do you Maquilla have any idea? Arruinada o fuera de uso. All right, mm -hmm. very good. Mm -hmm. Yes. Falla de maquinaria. Yes, correct. Uh -huh. And we have some other words we can use. Fold, fold, okay? Failure, failure, failure. Error, error. Maybe the machine is still working, but is not working properly. So that's an error. That could be also a failure. A failure uh, can stop the production. A failure can stop the uh, usual uh, process, right? And a fault is a thing that needs uh, um, that needs technical support, all right? Uh, let's see, factory fault. Maybe your machinery or your equipment is new and uh, you are still testing it and then you detect that there is a fault from the factory or the fa manufacturer, right? So there are factory faults, errors, failures, faults. There are also fails, only fails, right? Okay. Veamos estos ejemplos. Let's look at these examples, all right? Let's look at these examples expressing different problems, all right? Expressing different problems. This is a way to express a problem with machinery, okay? Let's imagine we are reporting the issue, okay? We can say there was a breakdown in the pouch packing machine, okay? Si se fijan, tenemos there was, 
there was. Solo hemos visto there is, ¿verdad? There is, present tense. There was, past tense. All right? There was, past tense. For singular, all right? For singular. So there was a breakdown, okay? In the pouch packing machine, okay? Pouch, el empaquetado, ¿verdad? Okay? En bolsa, right? Las bolsas. Uh, <clears throat> next one, the machine broke down right, with no hope of repair. Okay. The machine broke down. Broke down means in Spanish we say se fundió, all right? Se quemó, yeah, okay. So the machine broke down with no hope of repair, all right? Next one. The labeling machine stops off printing, okay? The labeling machine stops off printing. Mm. Labeling is that machine that, that make the label, prints the label and also stick the label on the package or on the pouch or on the bottles, right? So that machine stops off printing. It's working, but it is not printing, all right? It's working, but it is not printing. Let's look at this one. The gas tank exploded and set off a series of electrical explosions. Okay, this is very dangerous, right? This is very dangerous. The gas tank exploded and set up a series of electrical explosions. If you notice here, series, seems like plural, but it doesn't have singular or plural. It's the same word, remember? A series, a net Netflix series, okay? One, we say series for plural or, um, or singular, all right. Let's read these sentences. So uh, we're gonna say one, two, three, and four, okay? Uh, Ellen Nilsson, this is number one, all right? Magdiel, number two. Karen, number three, this one, all right? And Blanca, number four. Okay, let's start, please. Okay. There was a breakdown in the pouch packing machine. Thank you. The machine broke down with no hope of repair. The late lean machine stopped off printing. The gas tank exploded and set off a series of electrical explosions. Okay. Do you notice what kind of verbs or actions are we expressing here? There are fixed on. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's find out all the verbs in these, in these sentences, okay? Exploder. Exploded. Mm -hmm. Break Another? down. Break down. down. Okay, broke. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will underline the verbs you tell me, all right? You said exploded, right? Exploded. Mm -hmm. You say broke down, two words, one verb, all right? Broke down. Stops. Stops off. Okay. Two words, one verb. Mm -hmm. Stops off. Mm -hmm. What other verb do you see? And this one? Set off. Uh, all right. Mm -hmm. Set off. Okay. So what? now. 
There was, okay, was, right? Mm -hmm. There was, very good. Mm -hmm. Like this, there was. Mm -hmm. Good. Even though it is not exactly a verb per se, but yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, so do you notice something here? Do you notice something here? A ver, algo interesante que noten en estos verbos, something interesting that you are noticing in these verbs. Are there phrasal verbs? Yay, correct, correct. They are phrasal verbs, correct. It means that they have two parts, right? They have two parts. Phrasal verbs, we have, uh, okay. We have three kind of phrasal verbs, okay? In this case, we could see two parts only, right? Two parts of phrasal verbs. We are gonna see this, mm, mm, slowly, okay? And we are going to see how to use it or how to use them in context, okay? Okay. So we have two parts, we said. We have the verb, I'm sorry, we have the verb, and we have prepositions, and adverbs, all right? Prepositions and adverbs. Okay. Ahorita tengamos eso en mente. Okay, let's have that in mind. And now, let's think about causes of problems, okay? The causes and the troubleshooting of these problems, okay? Let's think, let's think and let's read number one. Let's think about number one. It says not reading the operator's manual. Not reading the operator's manual. That's a very big problem, okay? So the cause, the cause can be technical and can be a human error, right? And can be a human error, yes? So the first one is the human thing, not writing the operator's manual. Maybe you overload the things, maybe you don't use the correct power line, all right? Maybe you are not following the uh, manufacturer uh, in, uh, in instructions, all right, and directions. Now, what about number two? Improper maintenance, improper maintenance, okay? What is that? Maybe it's an, an apartment, apartment um, maintenance, right? Maintenance, okay, but improper, Mm, could be that you are repairing, you are cleaning up the machines, you are doing it, but maybe you were not doing it correctly as directed by the manufacturer, right? So that is why improper, improper. Maybe it's not that you were not doing it. Maybe that you were doing it wrong, okay? Let's look at this one. Poor electrical connections poor electrical connections. That was, that was the first thing that I would say, right? It was supposed to, a machine was supposed to work in the 440, right? 440 volts and you are using maybe a higher or a lower power, right? A higher or lower power. So yes, poor electrical connections. Maybe your plant is not enough. Okay, maybe your plant is not enough. A ver, number four, of running machines, of running, of running. What idea do you have with that verb? Of running, of running. 
Mm -hmm. Too much work. Yes, too much work. You have to stop at a certain time. Maybe it's supposed to work for eight hours uh, and then you are using it 24 hours, right? So <laughs> of course it's going to cause a thing, right? It's going to cause a problem. Uh, what about number five? Not replacing worn parts. Not replacing worn parts. What means worn? Worn, usadas. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. O con mucho uso, right? También. Mm -hmm. Not replacing worn parts. Usually the worn parts are um, just as a minute to get, I mean, to break down, all right? Just a minute to break down. It can be any moment. So you have to replace the worn parts as directed by the manufacturer. By the manufacturer, you can follow the signs that they tell you to follow, right? So not replacing worn parts, it's going to cause a major fault or a major problem. All right. All right. Let's look at number six. Very interesting words, right? Mm -hmm. But if we relate this or we associate misaligned, aligned, right? Misaligned, maybe it's not in the proper direction, right? Misaligned, tighteners, tighteners. Titan is agarrador, ¿verdad? Or sostenedor. Titan o algo que es... Richard, you are muted. I'm sorry, guys. Maybe it was my connection, my internet connection. And I was writing and then I, I'm, I got, I got, right? I got disconnected. All right. Now, what were we saying? What were we saying? We, Where were we? talk about it, about it, the failures. Oh, it's yes. Causes and, causes and troubleshooting, we could say, right? Mm -hmm. All right, one second. So this is vocabulary, okay? This is vocabulary. Okay, misaligned tighteners, right? And then improper storage, improper storage. Maybe you use the machine, you use the equipment and you don't cover it or maybe you uh, have it out there, right? And you don't put it indoors. So improper storage, okay? Weather related issues, weather related issues. What idea do you have when you hear weather, weather uh -huh, related, weather related issues? Factores relacionados al clima. Mm -hmm. For example, electrical storms, right? Electrical yeah. storms with electrical equipment. Yes. Mm -hmm. And for example, it is too hot and we don't have air conditioner and the machine is supposed to be in uh, fresh uh, or a certain temperature to function, right? Okay. Uh, let's let's look at number nine. Ignoring warning signals. Uh -huh. That's very common. That's very common in our country. That's very common because um, the owners of uh, the company maybe they think that they are saving money. Maybe they are saving money because they say we cannot stop the production or we cannot stop using this machine. But you know, accidents happen. 
accidents happen. Mm, I have a story. I have a story. My dad, my dad had an accident because of that. He got burned. He got burned all half of his body, half of his body. Uh, and it was because the owner didn't want to buy a piece, right? A piece of an electrical thing. I don't know the name of the thing, okay? It's like, a, we say termicos, right? We say termicos. So. And the, uh, his boss said, no, we're not going to buy it, so repair it. Mm, he did it. He did it. But it was not the best option. It was not the best option. And he got burned. He got burned. Yeah, so mm, it was about five years of his life recovering from that accident and more money for the company, right? More money for the company. So instead of saving, you are wasting one, okay? Untrained operators, hmm, usually happens, usually happens. Remember the instructions yesterday? Give examples, give examples how to do. So train your personnel, train your staff. And if you don't know how to use a machine, please ask, please ask to your boss, mostly to your boss, right? Why? Because this can cause um, a bigger problem, right? Okay. So, uh huh. Uh, what's the meaning the number six? Number six, misaligned tighteners. For example, uh, las bandas que sostienen, por ejemplo, eh, alguna cosa para que esté funcionando correctamente, ¿verdad? Entonces están desalineadas, ¿sí? Se van molino? zafando. No, se van zafando, se van zafando. ¿Ya? Como se usa ah, un molino. Tighteners, ok. Excuse me, Rafael Antonio. Como la que usa un molino. Oh, yes. Like those, like those, the tighteners, the tighteners. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there any other question so far? O ya vamos sobre ruedas. Are we on track? Are we on tracks? Yes. Yes, right. teacher. Very good. I know you you uh, know a lot of these things because some of your companies have this um, equipment or maybe you know how they work for uh, previous experiences, right? Okay. Let's go to our manuals. There we have a conversation. And now we want to practice this conversation and we want to role play to role play this conversation. Okay, so let's go to page I want you to notice the bold uh, phrases, okay? The phrases in bold. So um, Ramon and Dorian and I are speaking. Thank you for coming, Dorian. No problem. Someone reported a fault on one of your machines. I'll have a look at it. You're right. You know, it does not work properly and it makes a strange noise. This is a complex machine, so maybe you will need some time. Yes, complex machines have a lot of components. I need to take the metal casing off to verify, ahí falta fi, okay, aquí, verify if it is a minor fault or what. I understand. If that is the case, we need to speed things up. 
I recommend check the brushes once a fortnight to make sure they're not down. And what happens if they are? We will have to extend the shot. Okay. Aha, vamos a ver, vamos a hacer esta conversacioncita. Primero, 30 segundos. First, take 30 seconds to read it. Okay, everybody reading it, please. Move your lips. Okay, is there any questions so far? What's the meaning of to speed things up? Uh -huh. Very good, good point. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we are going to talk about expressions, okay? Expressions are a group of words that gives a complete idea. But usually these expressions are made by people. I mean, the use of the language uh, generate these expressions. That's the origin of these expressions. Sometimes, sometimes it's not um word by word the meaning okay so we have to read the complete expression to have a meaning okay to have a meaning so these are the colloquial phrases okay uh colloquial has a very different pronunciate pronunciation just give me one second and i want you to Practice colloquial too. Colloquial. One second. It's kind of different. <laughs> colloquial. Ooh, you see? Try to say this word. Colloquial. It is not like that. I said it like that, but it is not like that. Listen. Colloquial. My colloquial. <laughs> but you did it okay. You did it good. Uh huh. Colloquial. Try. Colloquial. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. Colloquial. <laughs> it's interesting. All right. I said colloquial always, and it is colloquial. Colloquial. Okay, these are colloquial expressions. Uh, let's say that these expressions are by the use of the speakers, okay? And this is from native speakers. As in the Spanish, um, there are um, verbs that take the meaning by the action of the speakers. I, I always say this verb, echar, okay? Para nosotros en español, el verbo echar, a ver, ¿qué significa? What does it mean? Echar, en español, ¿qué significa echar? Poner. Okay. Um, 
poner a dónde? ¿Adentro o afuera? Adentro. Adentro. ¿Están seguros? Mm, for me is drop. Eh, ok, eso sería en inglés, pero vaya, pongámosle en eh, ubicándonos para las expresiones, ok. Ajá, vamos a ver. Girar. Ok, uh -huh. podría ser. Ok, yo echo los frijoles en una bolsa, ¿sí? Hecho. Sí. ¿Sí? Hecho el maíz en el molino. Ah, ok. En, el, en, el... en la tolva. Hecho el agua. Okay. En la tolva. Ajá. Ok. Hecho agua en la olla para el ver. Hecho agua. Ok. You sí. are putting into, right? You are Echo putting agua, into. Uh -huh. Echar. Ok. ¿Y qué tal cuando le dice te echaron de la casa? ¿Lo pusieron adentro de la casa? No, afuera. afuera. Ah, afuera. It has a different meaning, right? Uh, también, y es opuesto totalmente, ¿sí? Uh, por ejemplo... Te um, echaron del trabajo. Te echaron del trabajo. Te quitaron, te, te despidieron. Es un significado, pero nosotros lo entendemos, ¿sí? Cuando decimos echar. Ahora, imagínense el problema que puede tener alguien que está aprendiendo el español. Entonces, parecido es el problema que se nos genera a la hora de conocer estas expresiones. Porque para nosotros, speed things up, podemos decir, ok, speed, velocidad, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Things, cosas, up, arriba. Poner, eh, ¿qué? Acelerar. Ok, acelerar las cosas para arriba. Pero no quiere decir en esas palabras literales, ¿sí? That's an expression, ¿ok? It has a meaning by uh, sense, ¿ok? By sense. Entonces, speed things up es um, arreglar las cosas, pero más rápido, ¿ok? Arreglar las cosas, pero más rápido. Y de ahí dice, I recommend check the brushes once a fortnight. Ajá. Uh -huh. What is once a fortnight? La quincena. Una vez a la quincena. Yes, because fortnight is that. Okay. Fortnight is 15 days, right? 15 days. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, let's look at this. I'll have a look. I'll have a look, y luego lo demás, at it. A veces lo van a encontrar como to eat, ¿ok? Eso prácticamente al final, perdón, vendría siendo indiferente, pero sí, por ejemplo, cuando lo sigue un verbo, eh, más bien suena mejor decir to, ¿ok? Pero cuando lo sigue un nombre, un pronombre, at. Podríamos decir un poquito ahí la diferencia, aunque no es cierto. Puede ser también, o sea, es, es general, ok, lo que estoy diciendo. I'll have a look at it, I'll have a look at it. Le voy a echar un vistazo, ok. A ver. Um, a minor fault, a minor fault, a minor, a minor fault. Uh -huh. Una falla pequeña, un problemita. The positive to the major fault. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what a technician expects. The right? nightmares of mechanics. Uh, yes. The yeah, the minor fault. Uh -huh, because uh, when they um, give, I mean, give your car back, then they say, Well, we had to change this and this and this and this. And it was only a minor fault, right? It was only a minor fault. <laughs> okay. It's a big problem when you don't have the, the, the parts mm -hmm. in the country. You need to wait uh, the import, the parts, and the, ma the machine is, is, is down. Ok, ahí sería, es shut down, all right? Shut, shut, shut. down. Uh -huh. Por eso es extend the shut, es que lo vamos a prolongar el cierre, ¿verdad? O que esté detenido o parada la producción, right? Extend the shut. Extend the shut is another thing, ok? Ok. Uh -huh. mm. Now let's role play the conversation, ok? So first, please. Um, 
first turn for Abel and Andrea, please. Okay. I okay. Start. Thank you for coming, Dorian. No problem. Some report a fault on one of your machines. You have a look at it. You're right. You know it does not work properly and it makes a strange noise. This is a complex machine, so maybe you will need some time. Yes, complex machine have a lot of components. I need to take to the metal casing of to bury if it is a minor fault or what? I understand. If that is the case, we need to speed things things up. I recommend and check the brushes once a fortnight to make sure they're not down. And what happens if they are? We will have to spend the shoot. The shot, shot. shot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Vamos a afinar algunas pronunciaciones, okay? Let's uh, make this in a better way, okay? So let's start by the past tense of the verbs. Remember, report it, report it, report it. Okay, report it. Report it. Fault, 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 fault. Mm -hmm. Fault is similar when um, default. Yes, it's similar. Even the default, the, well, it's the same pronunciation and about the meaning, it is not. Uh, it is not. The meaning, it is not. Default is como uh, una palabra que la pueda definir en español. Mm, falla. Falla, pero defecto. Defe it's a defect, right? Uh -huh. Default is a defect. Okay. Default is, is similar to factory uh, failure, right? Like a factory fail, all right? Fault, just fault es una falla, okay? Fault es una falla. Okay. Algo okay. se arruinó, okay? So, fault. Now, um, the other one, aisle, aisle, aisle. A ver, este es I will, aisle. I will, Está diciendo el futuro de el verbo que acompaña, okay? For example, will have, okay? Y se pronuncia I'll con la L, I'll, I'll. A ver, I want to hear you guys. Please repeat. I'll have, I'll have a look at it. I'll, I'll have, have a look at it. Excellent, yes, I'll. Aisle. Aisle. Okay. Now, let's go to the next. It was work properly. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the other was. Aha. Miren toda esta frase. I need to take the metal casing off. Okay. I need to take the metal casing off. We have the verb divided, okay? We have the verb divided or separated, okay? Separated. The verb is take off, quitar, okay? Take off. Look at this. Take off, okay? And this is a separable uh, verb. All right, so we use 
the object or the noun in the middle of the verb and the preposition. So we say the metal casing. The metal casing is la cubierta de metal, verdad? Okay, the metal casing. So remember, hasta aquí, hasta aquí sería la frase. I need to take the metal casing off. I need to take the metal casing off. Okay. Are we okay with that? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Y no me acuerdo la otra palabra que escuché. Ah, components. Components. Decimos components porque es nuestro idioma, ¿verdad? O decimos components, pero no, es components. Okay, las partes, components. Um, Ahí estamos bien, I think. ¿Alguien escuchó alguna palabra que quisiera decir que se dijo mal y cómo se dice correctamente? No? Ok. So, Teacher, I uh -huh. don't know clear. How can I say verified? Verify. Yes. Uh -huh. Verify. Verify. Y lo que pasa es que ahí le falta. It's a typo. Ok. It's a typo. Ok, ok. Uh -huh. Yes. So it is verify if. Verify if it is a minor fault. Ok. Let's listen to. No, it's 9.04. It's 9.04, so I will take the attendance. I will validate the attendance. So please, everybody, turn your cameras on and say present, please. Andrea Sofia Benitez Gomez. Present teacher. Blanca Alejandra Portillo Bermúdez. Present teacher. Carlos Ernesto Pérez. Present teacher. Okay. Carlos Roberto Alemán Prudencio. Present teacher. Okay. Eric José Hernández Campos. Present teacher. Hazel Elizabeth Navarro de Cervellón. Okay, Hazel. Henry Alberto Pérez Rosales. Here, teacher. All right. Are you home now? Yes. Oh, thank God. Safe in and sound. Moment. Okay. In this moment. Good. Right on time. Um, Hernán Antonio Chacón López. Presente, teacher. Juan Francisco yeah. Salmerón Alas. Karen Jamilet Rivas de Ayala. Magdiel Esaú, ok. Magdiel Esaú García Morales. Present teacher. Rafael Alexander Cerna Díaz. Present teacher. Rafael Antonio Barrera Díaz. Present teacher. Ricardo Tony Mendoza Castro. Rosa del Carmen Santa María Tobar. Present. Santos Ezequiel Núñez Mejía. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Jose, okay, Wilber. Jose Abel Isaguirre Mendoza. Here present teacher. Pedro Alexander Osorto Sanchez. Present teacher. Okay. So continuing with the, let's continue Hello, with the teacher. Uh, No me mencionó. Okay, Claudia, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Done. Done. Thank you very much for letting me know. Okay, class. In our manuals, below the conversation, we have this pair work. And it says, complete the questions about the conversation. Then write, one second, it moved. Then write the answers, okay? 
Number one, what seems to be the problem with the machine? Number two, what recommendation does Dorian give? Okay. We are going to the breakout rooms. We are going to do two things. First, practice the conversation and do the prayer work. After that, you are going to create a conversation about a problem. You have now some vocabulary from the beginning of the class. You can get one of those problems, all right? And you can adapt this information in a conversation exactly the same as they did, okay? Got it? Got you, sir. Vamos a hacer una conversación similar a esa. Yes, so two things. Practice okay. the conversation once, do the prayer work, okay? That's one activity. And then you create a conversation using that, that as, in, as an example with another problem, okay? Are we okay? Yes, I got it. Try to use all the vocabulary that we have seen in this class. Okay, try. If you don't know the meaning, you are allowed to use the dictionary in English, okay? Not translating. Okay, there we go. Solo recuérdenme quiénes están de oyentes, por favor. Tengo a Hazel, Abel, Ajá. había alguien más. Um, Wilber is listener teacher. Oh, yes, Wilber. Okay, then we have three listeners. Oh, Pedro, too. Okay, then you are four. There are four of you as a listener, as listeners. Okay, one second, one second, because the machine gets crazy when this happens. All right. Mm. One, two, three, and four. <laughs> okay. okay, vamos a hacer una cosa. Me sigue dando el problema de que me deja. Eh, me deja el oyente con el que no estaba de oyente. Bien, las voy a crear y luego voy a ir otra vez reasignando, ¿ok?
Carlos Roberto está de oyente. Me confirma en el chat, por favor. Carlos Roberto se ha duplicado usted. Tiene dos dispositivos, Carlos. No, este, me estoy solo con el teléfono y me sacó, entonces por eso Ajá. me volví a meter. Ah, ok, porque es que lo tengo como, como está colgado ahí. Entonces, uh, déjeme asignarlo nuevamente para que pueda entrar. Lo voy a asignar a otra sala hoy. Va. Ajá, a la sala 8. Okay. Room 8. Henry? Aren't you able to join? Yes, teacher. Uh, did you receive the invitation? Uh, uh, no, teacher. No? Okay, just uh, uh, let me check one second. Todavía me estoy peleando con un par de cosas aquí, pero sí, digamos, ya estoy ahí, Abelita. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, there you are. Oh, sí. mm -hmm. Claudia? Okay. Okay. similar a la que está ahí. Ah, ok. Sí, ¿verdad? Leemos... Vamos a leer el párrafo y luego vamos a hacer una conversación similar. Exactly. First, you practice the conversation. Ok. Answer the questions and then you create a, converse, a similar conversation. Ok, teacher. Okay, let's practice, Rafael. Okay, comienza usted o comienzo yo? Puedo empezar yo. Sí. Okay. Thank you for coming, Dorian. No problem. Some report report a, a foul or on one of your machines. We we'll have a look at it. You're right. You know, it does not work properly and it makes a strange noise. This is a complex machine, so maybe you will need some time. Yes. Complex machines have a low of components I need to take the metal case, casing of to very, very, it is a minor the printer is not an a tasco paper <laughs> a tasco de papel paper o, <laughs> o no sé qué falla 
tax paper. Mm. A tax paper. Mm. It's allowed to. Así está bien. Uh, ahí lo que dice, está permitido imprimir un documento. It's not allowed. Es como querer decir, no me permite. Mm. It's not allowed me to print mm -hmm. a document. Right? Mm -hmm. Ahora. Pero sería sí. permit o permission. Um... No, 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 no. Eh, que no es posible hacerlo, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay, so it Not doesn't possible print. to print. No, it doesn't print out, right? It doesn't right. print out mm -hmm. the document. Out. It doesn't print out the document or uh, the document out, right? Print the document out. It doesn't print out the document. The document. Se me fue don Hernán. No, aquí estoy, aquí estoy, perdón. What about the technician? <risa> uh, quiero ver eh, lo que estábamos viendo para eh, chequear, revisar. Eh, Check. ¿Cómo puede ser? Ajá, check machine. Eh, quiero ver. Eh, check machine. O, oh, quiero ver. Sí, check machine. The, the problem. Check machine the problem. Mm -hmm. um, is um, is a complex machine? Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo pudiera decir que por 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 el mecanismo? Quiero ver. For mm -hmm. mechanic. Mm -hmm. no. Algo así. Uh, no. It will be by the functions, could be, right? By the functions. But what exactly do you want to say? What exactly do you want to say? Bueno, sería como expresar de que se tendría que revisar la máquina eh, mm -hmm. porque es un mecanismo complejo. Mm -hmm. Ok. Entonces, eh, Ajá, usemos una de las frases, Karen, one of the expressions. Uh, I need to take a look at it, right? To take a look at it, to take a look to it, depending. Ah, sí. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. I need mm -hmm. to take a look. Here. Eso sería como irla a ver, ¿verdad? Necesito verla. Ah. Mm -hmm. Sí. En el, en el, en la conversación dice have a look, pero es exactamente lo mismo, digamos, diciendo take a look, ¿ok? Y es más Tomarme común. el tiempo. No, no, no. Take a look es como echar un vistazo. Ah, ok. Ajá, o le voy a dar una vista, le voy a revisar, ¿ok? Eso es take a look. Uh, no solo se usa en esta parte, sino que también cuando usted va al doctor, the doctor takes a look on your problem, right? On 
your body too. He examines, right? Pero esto se, re, esto se refiere, Tiche, como algo así como superficial, o sea, ver algo superficial. Eh, no, es, re, es, es revisarlo. Check oh, okay. what is happening, what is the problem, to find out what the problem is, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And then, and then. Will we fix it? Uh, uh, pero them sería then con n with a letter n at the end and it says and then I'll Ay. trick uh, uh, yeah I'll fix it una contracción mm -hmm. I'll pero sin el b porque el verbo es fix and then I fix it. Mm -hmm. I fix. I'll fix it. I'll fix it. The printer, right? I'll mm -hmm. fix it. Mm -hmm. Good. Thanks a lot. See you in the afternoon. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. <laughs> See you in the afternoon. <laughs> See you. Ajá, lo veo. Because oh, he's siempre. going to arrive there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's it. At the moment, Wait. I think it is it is complete. Mm -hmm. Um, um, quiero ver. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> I am perfect. Oh, ¿Cómo es? No, no, perfect. Uh, Parece ahí estaré. Ah, uh, okay. I'll be, I'll be there. Ajá, uh -huh. exactly. I'll be there. Ahí estaré. Mm -hmm. Okay. Eh, para su revisión. Eso es todo. Okay, then you can write perfect because he said pre perfect. Perfect. Come on, I'll be there. Right? I understand. If that's in case uh, we need to speed things up, I recommend to check the brushes one once after night to make sure they are not not down. And what happening happens if they are? We will have to extend the shoot. Then. Thank you. Thank you for coming, Dorian. Hello? Empiezo usted? Ah, okay. Thank you for coming, Dorian. No problem. Some, some report a foul on of your machine. I, have, I look at it. You're right. You know, it it does not work properly and it makes a stranger noise. This is a complex machine, so maybe you will need some time. Yes, complex machine. Have a look of components. I need to take the metal housing of to very a minimal form or what? I understand. If that is their size. Hi, um, we need to speak to him. I recommend check the bushes on a fortnight to make sure they're not down. 
And what's happening if they are? We 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 will have to extend the shirt. Okay. Okay, guys. Now check the pronunciation. Extend the shot. Extend the shot. Where is it? Where is in Spanish extend the shot? Eh, hacer eh, más largo el eh, tenerlo apagado. Ah, más okay. Tiempo. Uh -huh. okay. Me estaba confundiendo que pensé que se iba por un tema de garantía o algo. Oh, no. Extend the shot es que tiene que permanecer más tiempo apagado hasta que, hasta que, o el cierre, ¿verdad? Vamos a tener que tener cerrado más tiempo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. Y la otra que... Les escuché fue al principio, at the beginning. At the beginning you said properly, properly. Properly. Yes, properly. Mm -hmm. The other was components, components. Okay. Components. 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 Mm -hmm. components. Ahora, aquí creo que tenía otra que si no me equivoco... Creo que lo estaba explicando, pero no, no alcanza a escuchar bien. Ajá. Quiero ver. Quiero ver esto de spin up. Dijo que era una, una frase también, como que pone a, apurarse. Yes, ajá. Make it faster. Make it faster. Uh -huh. y, 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 y quiero ver. Acelerar ah, las está. cosas, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Metal casing off. O sea, es como quitar algo, ¿verdad? Es... Uh, yes, uh, the cover. The cover, right? Ah, okay, okay. You know okay. what the case, case is? Yeah. Ah, case. Mm -hmm. okay, ya, 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 ya. ya, 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 right. ya. Mm -hmm. La cubierta, digamos, que quiere Casing, decir. Casing, ajá. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about, what about using ING? Uh, because there it's a noun. It's a gerund, remember? It's not a verb. Okay. It's not a verb, so it's a noun. Ah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Casings, me quedé con casing, where, where is case? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, all right, and then you have the other, it's once, it's not once, it's once, once a fortnight, once a fortnight. Mm -hmm. okay. Once, 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 fortnight. Once a fortnight. Once a fortnight. Fortnight, like again? Fortnite. No, this is 15 days, right? Every 15 days. Once I don't know Fortnite. anything about the game. I don't know that game. Uh, and, <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, uh, but Fortnite is, or Fortnite is every 15 days. Yeah, 15 days. Mm -hmm. Quincena, okay? Quincena in Spanish. Mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. okay, then continue, guys. You have to answer the questions and then you have to create a conversation similar to this one. All right? Right. Right. Why it is? Yes, verify it is. Verify it is a minor fault. Okay. Or what? Uh, you have to say verify if it is. Right? If verify. is the conditional. Uh -huh. If is the conditional. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Entonces solo le falta. Yo pensé que estaba de más ese if. Verify it is. No, it is okay as you did it. You corrected like verify is correct. If it is, okay? If it is, okay. Thank you for coming, Doria. No problem. Someone reports a fault on one of your machines. You'll have a look at it. You are right. You know, it does not move properly and it makes a strange noise. This is a complex machine, so maybe you will need some time. Yes, complex, ma complex machine. 
have a lot of components. I need to take the metal casing off the, the verify if it is a minor fault or what? I understand. If that is the case, we need so, to, to spend things up. I recommend them check the brushes once a fortnight to make sure, sure. they're not down. And what happens if there are there? We will have to expand to extend the shoot. Shut. The shot. Shot. Uh-huh. Shot. shot. The ese verbo es cerrar. Okay. Entonces, to extend the shot is eh, el cierre, ¿verdad? Eh, hacer más largo el cierre. Ok. ¿Mm? Ok. Si quieres, cambiar papeles. Ok. Thank you for coming, Dorian. No problem. Someone reported a fault on one of your machines. I have a look at it. You're, you're right. You know it does not work work properly and it makes a strange noise. This is a complex machine, so maybe you will need some time. Yes, complex machines have a lot of components. I need to take the metal casing off to verify if it is a minor fault or what? I understand. Uh, if that is the case, we need to speed things up. I recommend that check the brushes once a fortnight to make sure they're not down. And that happens if they are. We will have to extend the shop. Okay. Okay, we did it. All right, did you answer the questions? Yes. Okay, now you have to create your own conversation. Yes. We did it. Excellent, guys. Excellent, share, good job. Mm -hmm. I will share the conversation. Okay. Uh, thank you for coming, Andrea. No problem. Someone report a problem with with AC. Yes, the AC don't work. The temperature is high. Okay, you'll have a look a look at a look at it. Uh, maybe the control batteries don't work. Oh, I see. Remember, schedule the maintenance once, one time a month. Okay, now check the spelling, guys. Check the spelling. And, and check also the, um, the grammar. Let's look at it. It says, no problem. Someone reported, right? Past tense, reported a problem Boring. with the AC because it was in the past tense, right? In the past occasion. So uh, later it says, yes, the AC doesn't because it's it, right? Doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Doesn't with the letter S. Mm -hmm. There you are. The temperature, aquí se dice temperature, okay? Temperature. Is, uh -huh. is height or is too high? Is too high. Right, too high. Without the letter T at the end. Right, too high. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, okay, I'll have a look at it. Maybe they control batteries. Uh-huh. No words. Esto no. Él, él me lo, me lo hizo en mayúscula. Uh, okay. Works. Work. 
work, remember? Because work. you were talking about the batteries, not only the control, right? Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, I see. Remember? Schedule. Aquí uh, sería, remember to schedule. To schedule. Yeah. To schedule. Okay. The maintenance once a month. Once a month. Okay. Once with the letter C between the N and the E. Once. There you are. Okay, good. Okay. Now, Thank you, teacher. Okay, my pleasure. See you in the main room. I'll go to check another group, all right? Continue with your right. practice. Okay. Once a fortnight. To make sure they do not down. Y la otra es, and what happens? It makes Ah, strain. Noise. Mm -hmm. Sería número uno. Yes. Um, la número uno dice, what recommendation does Dorian give? Yes. I recommend check the brushes. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sería eso. And once a fortnight to make sure they not down. Okay. He recommends, right? Recommends. Uh huh. He, because they are asking for Dorian's recommendation. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. He recommends, and then you write what you said. What recommend us to? Ah, esas son las dos únicas. Yes, sí. only two. Yes. Only two. Uh, teacher, we, we don't, uh, ¿cómo se dice? Conversation. conversation. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Good. Did you finish it? All right. If you want, you can show me. Eh, no sé cómo, cómo, cómo puede, compañera. Perdón. Lo, eh, lo de la hora, lo de la, ¿cómo se llama? La conversación. La conversación. La conversación. Sí, lo siento. The talking. Ah. Uh. No, no sé si puede eh, share the screen. Ah, eh, ¿a, ¿a dónde lo mando? No, es... Eh. Sí, en el grupo, si no, just echar. say, just say it if you want. If you want, just uh, show me what you did saying it, okay? Role play your conversation. Okay. Mm -hmm. Y uh, empezaría usted, Rosa. Ah, okay. Es que uh, se, no, puedo compartir. Está, puedo aquí, compartirlo si ahí, ve. Sí, Permítame. está bien, pero... Va. Ahorita, pero...
Okay. Okay, eh, puedo compartir ahorita aquí en el aquí en el aquí en el compartir share. Yes, Rosa, you can do okay. it. Okay. Thank you. Aquí. Uh, no sé si lo logra ver, compañero. Yes, I do. Estoy pidiendo el teléfono. Ahí está, sí, muchísimo. Si <laughs> okay. Bueno. Okay. Empiezo entonces. Thank you for coming, Roberto. No problem. You reported a file, a file with the printer. Yes, I do. The printer doesn't work. It makes a strange noise. The printer doesn't take the paper. I see. I have to disassemble the equipment and check the paper roll. This will be take time. Give me, I'm sorry, give me two hours to solve it. I understand. I can wait. Why I can do other tests? Uh, and teacher, you, you imagine well, this is a, a few hours later, uh, something like uh, Bob, Bob Esponja. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Read the readers after. <laughs> okay. Um, the printer have had an obstruction in the roller. I recommend covering it to avoid the problem. I understand. I will. I will do it every day. Okay. Only teach. <laughs> so. Very good. And when you say a few hours later, and then Rosa with you know uh, with white hair, and you with the big, I mean the long beard. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, as an old man. <laughs> yeah. oh. <laughs> because you said like Bob Spo uh, that like SpongeBob, right? Like, like yeah. SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, you're so funny. All right, let's go to the main room now. Th thank you, teacher. Okay. Okay, let's start with Rafael Antonio and Blanca. Please share your conversation. Okay, okay, teacher. <laughs> Blanca? I didn't see her now. Maybe she is got disconnected. Blanca is safe, is the baby. Oh, uh, okay, but maybe she got disconnected because, because I can't see her. All right. Uh, then please wait. Meanwhile, she gets back. All right. And let's start by Liz. Oh, there she is. There she is. Okay, Blanca, we were waiting for you. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Sorry, Miss Acosta. No problem, no problem. Please share your conversation, role play. Okay, okay, teacher. We did a short conversation. All right, no problem. Okay. Show us. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you for calling, Rafael. No problem. I have a problem with my computer. It doesn't 
were foster and made a strong nose. Okay, I will have a look at it. It's an Apple computer. Ah, okay. With this computer, I think there is a minor fault. I recommend try turn off and press the button around three seconds. Okay, I'm going to try to restrain, restraining, restoring the computer. Okay. Okay, very good, very good. Now, uh, two words pronunciation, okay? Strange noise. Strange, Strange noise. noise. Uh -huh. Strange uh, noise. Yes, a tip to have a good pronunciation is open your mouth, okay? Open your mouth. Strange noise. Strange noise. Yes. And the other one was minor fault. Minor fault. Minor fault. Yes, okay. it's not minor, it's minor. All right. Minor fault. Mm -hmm. And we was thinking about uh for for a tip for for say uh, but the correct form is for strange. Rafael said me the doctor is strange. Ah, okay, yeah. And I was saying uh, him uh, remember doctor is strange, remember <laughs> Okay. Yes. Okay. Good. So good tip. Good tip. Yes. Excellent. Okay. Now, please role play your conversation, Hernan and Karen. Okay. Ray? Yes. Okay. Uh, thanks for calling. Technical support. Uh, can I help you? Yes, thanks. I have problem with my printer. What kind? Uh, what kind problem do you have? It doesn't print out the document. I need to take uh, a look, and I need to take uh, a look at it, and then I'll fix it. Thanks a lot. See you in the afternoon. Perfect. I will be there. Very good. Very good. Please open your mouth to pronounce correctly. Okay. Good. Uh, let's listen. Uh, one second. Let's listen to Claudia and Henry. Hello. Oh. Claudia, can you hear me? Hola, hola. Yes. <clears throat> Thank you for calling me, Claudia. Uh, Oh, don't worry. Is a plush help you? Tell me what machine do you need help? I need help with the new machine for coconut monkeys. I make it, mm -hmm. I make a stranger noise. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's fun. Monkey is complex machine have a lot of comp components I need to take the metal piping of the of to verify it is monitor fall or what? I uh -huh. see. We knew to speak things there. Okay. okay. All right. tampoco sabía que es un coco de un mono de And and you didn't have the picture? Didn't you have the picture? Yes, ya, ya culturizamos. Uh, yeah. oh, all right, all right. <laughs> okay, guys, look, uh, on the chat, I wrote one thing. After a preposition, we write ING. So you've got to say thank you for calling. 
Thank you for calling. Okay, not for call, for calling. All right. And the other one, I like it, All right. It's okay. It's okay. Now, you said the machine for the coconut monkeys. The machine, uh huh. It says, mm hmm. Ah, okay. It's like okay. a cutting machine. Is it, uh, I don't know, a painting machine, a forming machine, or what kind of machine is that? <laughs> yeah, it's a cut the cut the coconut. Okay, then you can say the cutting machine. Cutting machine. This is just to give you know. Uh, it, specifications of the machine you are talking about and the one that is presenting the, the problem, all right? Uh, let's look at the next one. It was, okay, then you, you, did, you did a very good job. Okay. Let's continue with, oh, sure. yes. Let's continue with, Uh, I see Rafael by himself over here. Uh, who was your classmate, Rafael? Rafael Alexander? It's Andrea, teacher. Okay, is it Andrea here? Yes. Okay, please role play your conversation, guys. Okay. Okay, Andrea, uh, thank you for coming, Andrea. No problem. Someone report a problem with AC. Yes, the AC doesn't work. The temperature is too high. Okay, you have a look, a look at it. Maybe the control batteries not, don't work. Oh, I see. Remember to schedule the maintenance once a month. Oh, thank you. Very good. So pronunciation, guys. Maintenance. Maintenance. Hey, hey. maintenance. All right. Maintenance. Mm -hmm. Maintenance. Yes. Así como se parece, bueno, hay que eh, make the TE silent. All right. Maintenance. Maintenance. All right, maintenance. All right. Uh, it's almost time, right? It's almost time. So let's continue with Carlos Ernesto and Eric Jose, please role play your conversation. Okay, teacher, eh, nosotros continuamos. <laughs> The conversation. Entonces oh, very good, very good. Interesting. Go ahead. The second part. Yes, please. Okay. It's okay. Please check the machine. I see that has a part breakdown. I understand. How much time do you need to repay? I think that a day if we have in store that part. Let me check the inventory. It's okay. Mm -hmm. It sounds good. It sounds good. Just let me understand something. Because in the first one, and the second one, it says, I see that has a part breakdown. Okay. I think the better way will be, I see that it has a broken part a broken part, all right? It has a broken part, okay? Okay. And the other was, okay, I see that it has, I see that it has a broken part. Mm -hmm. I think that a day, I think that a day, if we have an storage that part. Oh, 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 now I get it. I understand how much, 
I understand. How much time do you need to repay to repair it, right? To repair it. Bien, ese how much time podríamos decir uh, how long, ok, también, pero está muy bien elaborada esa pregunta. How much time do you need to repair it? And then you say, I think that it will take one day. It will take one day, all right? Mm -hmm. I think that it will take one day. If we have, ah, oh, the part is in the storage, all right? Uh -huh. Entonces podría decir, if we have that part in stock, okay? In stock, mm -hmm. in el inventario, right? In stock. Okay. And then it says, let me check that. Oh, there you are, inventory, inventory. Yeah, it's okay. Very good job, guys. Very good job. Ustedes todavía se metieron más profundo, ¿ok? You went deeper. Excellent. Excellent. Ok, I see it is 10.02 now. And we have only one more group. Solo tenemos un grupo. Oigámoslo, ¿sí? Eran Ellen Nilsson and McDiel, right? We use the same conversation. We just swap the problem. Okay, no problem. Go ahead. Okay, McDiel. Can you see? Yes. Okay. Okay, thank you for coming, McDiel. No problem. Someone reported a fault, fault uh, on one of your four lifts. I have a look at it. You're right. You know, it doesn't not work properly. It has now the strength to lift weight. This is a complex machine, so maybe you will need some time. Yes. Complex machine have a lot of components. Components. I need to check to check out the forks to verify it is a minor fault or what. I understand. If that in in, in the case. We need to speed things up. I recommend to check the forks once a fortnight to make sure they are not down. And what, and what happens if they are? We will have to buy another one. Okay, that's it, teacher. Excellent, okay. very good, very good. You have just to check the spelling, but it is okay. Very nice. And you had a good pronunciation here. Okay, okay. good. Mm -hmm. You used another machine. It was very creative. Okay, guys. Now I think the last thing we have to do is to call the roll. Okay, so please everybody turn your cameras on. And remember, you have to say present to validate, all right? To validate your attendance. You guys ready? Okay. I will go very fast, okay? So please, everybody, get ready. Andrea Sofia Benitez Gomez. Present. Blanca Alejandra Portillo Bermúdez. Carlos Present. Ernesto Pérez. Present teacher. Carlos Roberto Alemán Prudencio. Present teacher. Claudia Yamilet Coreas. Present teacher. Ellen Wilson Aparicio del Cid. Present Eric Jose Hernández Campos. Present teacher. Hazel Elizabeth Navarro de Cervellón. Henry Alberto Pérez Rosales. Present teacher. Hernán Antonio Chacón López. Present teacher. Juan Francisco Salmerón Alas. Karen Yamilet Rivas de Ayala. Present teacher. Magdiel Esaú García Morales. Present teacher. Rafael Alexander Cerna Díaz. Present teacher. Rafael Antonio Barrera. Present teacher. Ricardo Tony Mendoza Castro. 
Rosa del Carmen Santa María Tobar. Present teacher. Santos Ezequiel Núñez Mejía. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. José. Uh, yeah, I, I was just moving, <laughs> scrolling down, all right? I'm sorry. Okay. José Adelis Aguirre Mendoza. Here present teacher. Thank you. Pedro Alexander Osorto Sánchez. Present teacher. Okay, Pedro. Uh, is there anyone who wants to stay in the session one on one? Okay, according to the list, hey, today it was for the one who quit, you remember, because today is the 11th. <laughs> All right, so then Juan Francisco, okay, after him it goes Juan Francisco. And next is Karen Yamilet. I don't know if Karen wants to. All right. Your face told me everything. I mean, your expression told me everything. Magdiel Esaú stayed yesterday. And let's look at the next one is Rafael Alexander. Uh -huh. Do you want to stay, Rafael? Like this. No, teacher. <laughs> I saw your face too. I am tired. Okay, no problem. If you have some, if you have any question, you know that you can um, a text on the chat, right? Okay, guys, please do your homework and see you tomorrow. Have a very good night. Good night, Thank you. Good night teacher. Good, good night. night, teacher. Good night. Good night, good night. Good night everybody. Good night. Bye, teacher. Bye bye. Take Have care. Good night. night. Goodbye, Abel. Bye, teacher. Bye bye.